everyone, and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions, and I ask my tablet. Let it get turned the right way. <laughs> so anyway, if you have questions for the next Ask My Tablet, just leave them in the comments. And we already have some towards the next one. Uh, why see that? I've got like six of yours on the next one and two of them on this one. Uh, we've got a lot of questions in. That's really good. All right, let's get this thing going, everybody. Uh, the first one is from uh, Joy, my wife. Uh, Alexa, do they have hurricanes in Canada? There are 139 hurricanes in Canada, including Hurricane Ike, Hurricane Audrey, Hurricane Dennis, and Hurricane Hugo. So, obviously, yeah, they sure do. And I've got a couple here from Logan. Uh... Alexa, what's the record for the most toppings put on a hot dog? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Joey Chestnut sets hot dog eating record with 76 in 10 minutes. I think when I said record and hot dogs, maybe I could just say it without saying the record. How about Alexa, what's the most toppings ever put on a hot dog? Com. The possibilities are endless as hot dogs can be garnished with an assortment of delicious toppings like ketchup, mustard, relish, chili, cheese, sauerkraut, mm. onions, jalapenos, sautéed mushrooms, and more. How about all of them? <laughs> okay. Alexa, what's the most expensive steak sold in stores? I can't search by that, but... I found a few options for that. Texas Roadhouse, 1.4 miles away on North Rome Street. Longhorn hmm. Steakhouse, 1.9 miles away on North Rome Street. Harbor House Seafood and Steaks, 2.4 miles away on North Rome Street. Hmm. You can ask me for things like, Harbor what's House. the phone number for the first one? Harbor House is really good. They got that Calabash style seafood. We hadn't been there in about 30 years, but I, I mean, you know, uh, but it, it's really, really good. And, you know, it was kind of high even back then, so I imagine it's really high now, you know. But it's good. There's no doubt about it. Now, there used to be this place in um, another city uh, called, I think it was called uh, Mayflower or something like that. And they used to have that Calabash style seafood. And we would we would go there, like with my mom or somebody, we would go there, there and uh drive all the way there to eat it's just really good i doubt i don't even know if it's there anymore but so she didn't really answer that one right uh logan okay i got three here from joe's outdoor places alexa are humans related to monkeys and apes Humans are primates, a diverse group that includes some 200 species. Monkeys, lemurs, and apes are our cousins, and we all have evolved from a common ancestor over the last 60 million years. Okay, uh, ha Alexa, how much of our DNA do we share with chimpanzees? Humans and apes share 98.8% .8 of their DNA, and while general details for monkeys aren't available, Humans and the rhesus macaque monkey share 93.3 percent of their DNA. I was trying to see if I could get it to where, uh, without so much glare on it, and I was trying to take a, a picture maybe. Let's see how that works out. Uh, okay, yeah, 98.8 percent. And then, uh, okay, and Alexa, how much DNA do we share with lizards? I don't know if it'll show a lizard or not. From a central.com. Nope. Humans share 302 of the 326 genes responsible for regenerating the tails of the green anole lizard, Kuzumi said. Hmm. Okay, 302 of them out of 326. Okay, and here's one from Diane uh, Clark. Alexa, how were crayons invented? Here's something I found on the internet. 
The first crayons were created in Europe out of a mixture of charcoal and oil, and then later powdered pigments replaced charcoal. Hmm. Okay. And here is three from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Alexa, where do hummingbirds spend their winter? From a-c-animals.com. Most North American hummingbirds fly south to Mexico and Central America for the winter months. Hmm. Okay. And Alexa, where do vultures go for the winter? Migratory turkey vultures from the western United States spend the winter in Central and South America. So they, turkey vultures, do. Okay, and Alexa, what is the best compost for the garden? Here's something I found on the web. According to GardenRip.com, if you use compost on a lawn, it should be spread as part of a mixture of four or five parts canadine sphagnum peat moss to one part quality compost. Canadine? I think she might have meant Canadian. Uh, and that's for really, uh, it says for the lawn. So she didn't exactly answer it exactly right, uh, uh, Crystal. Okay, I got a couple here from Diane Parker. Alexa. Who invented the ballpoint pen and when? From wikipedia.org, the first ballpoint pen is the creation of American leather tanner John Loud of Weymouth, Massachusetts in 1888, which contained a reservoir for ink and a roller ball to mark up his leather hides. Huh. Okay. Been around a long time. And Alexa, who invented the checking system? Checking system may have been invented by the Romans around 352 BC. What? Wow. <laughs> All right, here's one from Corey Meyer. Uh, Alexa, do grasshoppers bite humans? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, grasshoppers don't usually bite people unless they feel threatened. If they do bite, they don't have venom, so no lasting damage is done. Okay, and uh, here's some from Vicky. Uh, Alexa, what country did the Yorkie breed dog originate? Here's what I found on Yorkshire Terrier's Wikipedia oh, page. You. The Yorkshire Terrier originated in Yorkshire. In the mid-19th century, workers from Scotland came to Yorkshire in search of work and brought with them several varieties of terrier dogs. Breeding of the Yorkshire Terrier was principally accomplished by the people, mostly operatives in cotton and woolen mills, in the counties of Yorkshire and Lancashire. Okay, and... Alexa, Socrates was sentenced to death by what plant? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. Socrates died in 399 BC at the age of 71 after being sentenced to death by eating hemlock. Hemlock. I was trying to think of the name of that when I saw that in the first the first time I saw that question. Hemlock. That's what it was. And Alexa, how did Google get its name? What going to say? Huh. Alexa, how did Google get its name? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the name Google derived from an accidental misspelling of Google by the company's founders. Google, being the mathematical term for the number one followed by 100 zeros, was chosen to signify that the search engine was intended to provide large quantities of information. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Alexa, what state saw the most fighting during the Civil War? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the Civil War was fought in thousands of different places, from southern Pennsylvania to Texas, from New Mexico to the Florida coast. The majority of the fighting took place in the states of Virginia and Tennessee. Wow, okay, we live in Tennessee. 
Okay, uh, let's see, this is 19. Okay, and Alexa, where do cats sweat from? Cats are only capable of producing sweat from their paw pads. Man, no wonder they probably they probably burn up with all that fur like Kitty had. Okay, that's that's funny though that they sweat that way. Here's one from uh, Joe's Outdoor Places. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, Alexa, what cheese contains live maggots? Also known as maggot cheese, is a type of pecorino cheese purposely infested with live maggots. And you want that that way? You uh, want to eat that? Ah, uh, not me. Okay. Uh, here's uh, three from Leela. Uh, Alexa, which countries have four seasons? From chess.com. In Europe, Countries like the United Kingdom, Germany, France, and Italy have four seasons. Okay. And Alexa, which countries have two seasons? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. Countries that are located between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn are countries that have only two seasons. Among them are Jamaica Virgin Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, huh. Haiti. Cuba, as close as it is, and it only has two seasons? I wonder if Florida does then. You wouldn't think so. I mean, well, we lived there when I was little, and it seemed like four seasons to me. I don't know. I really don't know, though. Hey. Uh, let me ask her. Alexa, does Florida have four seasons? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, while most every other state has four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, Florida has only two seasons, wet and dry. Wet season in Florida usually begins in late May and dry season starts by mid-October. So, I, I mean, that was right that they do have just two. I figured if Cuba did, they had to, you know, they're pretty close, really. Okay, uh, and Alexa, are there countries where the season never changes? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. The seasons alternate in all countries of the world. There are no countries where it is always summer, but where it is warm even in winter. For example, in Dubai. Okay. All right, and here's the two from YC, Cooks and Bakes. Alexa, does mistletoe only grow in the wild? No, mistletoe is not restricted to growing in the wild. It can also be cultivated and propagated in greenhouses and nurseries. Additionally, it can be planted and established in orchards and forests where it can grow and spread naturally. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh... Alexa, what area of the United States does mistletoe grow the most? From ilfpartners.com. Most commercially harvested mistletoe grows in Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. So, so that's like a warmer, you know, really warm climate too. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get her to tell us, uh, sing us a song first. Alexa. Sing me a song. Good afternoon, Michael. Hello. Technology. Technology. Where would I be without technology? Without the Wi-Fi, I couldn't say hi. As for music, I couldn't choose it. Shopping lists would cease to exist, and time would be on your wrist. I thank my lucky stars that I'm here today. I hope that you'll agree. Give me one, two, three shots alive for tech, 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 technology. Ooh, technology. That's a new one. I've never heard her uh, 
seen that one before. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the Minions give Gru banana peels for his birthday? Uh, uh, he needed some new slippers. Ah! <laughs> 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 and for more Despicable Me jokes and surprises, just say, Enable the Despicable Me theme. Mm, enable the Despicable Me theme. Uh, maybe you had to say A-L-E-X-A first. I'll just tell her, ask her to do another joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. Here's a Despicable Me joke just for okay. you. Okay, she did. Why did the Minions give Gru banana peels for his birthday? That's the same uh, one. Uh, he needed some new slippers. Well, ah! she did the same one. <laughs> and for more Despicable Me jokes and surprises, just say, Enable the Despicable uh, Me theme. Okay. Alexa, tell me another joke. Recently an optometrist went to work without their glasses. For an eye doctor, that's pretty short-sighted. <laughs> okay everybody that's going to be it today for ask my tablet i sure hope you enjoyed it if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out get them questions in for the next one we already got uh, six here from yc so we're on our way everybody to the next one Hey, you showing up now, Kitty? All right, everybody. Have a great day and God bless.